air. I need air. What are you girls doing in my closet? Housekeeping. We always start in the closet. And by the way, I'd like to compliment you on your choice of footwear. Excellent. You have one minute before I call security. Okay, so uh, we're not housekeeping, but we're singers. And since you're such an influential woman in the music biz, we wanted to give you our demo. Well, I'm not thrilled with you sneaking into my room, but I do admire your dedication. Give me your demo, I'll give it a listen. Oh, where is it? <laughs> we'll go get it. Hold on. If there's one thing I can tell you about the music biz, sometimes you only get one shot. So let's hear what you got. Sing. Us? Now? Aqui? Oh, I'm only gonna ask once. Okay. <laughs> Ready, girls? <laughs> uh. Let me tell you what I like about hotels. Hotels! <laughs> what do you like about hotels? Hotels! They got big comfy beds and oversized steps. And pristine gardens with really pretty shrubs. <laughs> and don't forget about the mini fridge. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, we're done here. Out. Oh, I'll call Cam and Brian and they'll meet us tonight. Michaela! Maddie? What was your sister doing here? I don't know. Suspect approaching at 10 o'clock. Question, are we talking about our location or that she's showing up an hour from now? Don't worry, chicas, I'll work with her. The police should be here any second. I called in an anonymous tip. Hashtag busted. Miss Elite Manager. Okay, so these t shirts aren't American made. That can't be a crime. T shirts? I do not need spell check to know that is so wrong. The only criminal here is the idiot who printed these shirts wrong. Well, this bust was a bust. Which is fun to say, but actually more disappointing. None of this makes any sense. Well, somebody's still in those three T's, and they're still out there. Mango coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? Siracha pearls made from cold oil certification? Quedeta loca! Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced some yoga and I got stuck in the cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say a challenge. So, which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel. Got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze-dried options, pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. 
Okay. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be la cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like a souffle. These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens. 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <sighs> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Hmm. Addison. I'm up, I'm up! So why are you connecting him to a tin of curiously strong mints? It's my cleverly disguised portable lie detector. It flashes green when you're telling the truth and red when you're lying. <laughs> or if you have really bad breath. Yeah. Breath mint? Uh, no thanks. All good, it's the last one and I wanted it anyway. <laughs> now tell us what you did with the prince. And about Black Star's secret plan. Don't worry, girls. I'm gonna get some answers from our new friend here. I just hope I don't have to use any unsavory method. But that's entirely up to you, Chico. Yes, yes, it's true I work for Black Star, but it's not what you think. He's telling the truth. I've been trying to warn you. Warn us about what? Your evil plan to kidnap the prince? Kind of late for that, buddy. Nobody's been kidnapped. Blackstone's not after the prince, they're after data. Data? Yes, data. They planted an illegal hacking device in the prince's luggage. What do you mean, a hacking device? It's a one of a kind. It, it took them over 10 years and cost a fortune to make. They're gonna use it to hack into a government satellite up there. Since this isn't about the prince at all. He's just a foil to hide their real intentions. But what about that phone call? Someone called Spacing to keep the prince off that flight. That was me. I've been doing whatever I can to get this launch canceled. If that device makes it onto that ship, Blackstar's gonna have the ability to do all kinds of terrible things, like steal people's personal data. I never thought Blackstar was capable of anything like this. Daron made us believe that he was a humanitarian and an innovator that wanted to use technology for great things. But it was all a front. Why not go to the policia? I tried. Ha! Lie! Uh, okay, okay, okay. Truth is... I'm scared of Daron and what he might do to me if he found out. He has all this information in his hands. Who knows what he's capable of? But why would an internet security giant want to steal personal data? Why else? Greed. Jerome wants to get his slimy hands on as much info as he can so he can sell it for billions. Personal info? You mean like all our emails and contacts? Photos and texts? Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? Yeah, all that stuff. I think I'm going to be sick. We have to stop them. Looks like we might be too late. Now just moments away from watching Prince Xander take off into the skies. Cam, call your dad. Voicemail. He's got to be in the control room already. 
There's no way I can reach him now. The hacking device. If we can find a way into Space Inc., we can stop it from getting on that spacecraft. I say we destroy it so Blackstar won't be able to harm anyone. Ever. Cam's right. We have to get in there and wipe it out. We're running out of time. One thing I still don't understand. If nobody kidnapped the prince, then who took him from the safe house to the launch? I bet one of his staff members is working with them. A mole? A dirty, rotten mole. And I think I know exactly who it is. Who oh. is it? <laughs> Good luck. Guess I'll just wait here, take it back. <laughs>